Hi friends, Shallon Day here with Bible Journaling Ministries creative team. And today I am just going to be using the kit for Ezra 3 verse 11 and five different crayons in my journaling as well as a stencil I had lying around and washi tape along with some cardstock and a stencil that I just made with a craft punch. So if you're ready to come journal along with me, let's get started. Okay, so let's begin by taking a look at the kit. It is a three page kit for Ezra 311 entitled God's Loving Kindness. And this is just so cute. This first page has so many elements, roses and hearts and two sets of hands holding a heart. Of course, your tab and your washies, your type font words, as well as crosses and hearts, some cute two different size um, and two different colors. This one's more of a red-ish and this is more of a fuchsia heart sunglasses and then your love with your little um, roses and some little they kind of look like Hershey kisses to me um, and then oh, this I have to point this out um, this two-tiered little tabletop thing and it says the little mugs on it says love you to the moon and back I absolutely love that I say that to my kids especially my daughter. Um, so the, the verse, th Ezra 3.11, says they sang to one another in praising and giving thanks to Yahweh. For he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever toward Israel. All the people shouted with a great shout when they praised Yahweh because the foundation of Yahweh's house had been laid. And that's the World English Bible translation. So cute. So this is page one. Page two has your faith decks cards, some flags, more crosses, um, little heart lollipops and heart um, cookies like macaroons. And then um, this cute little framed picture with a heart and says love. I can't wait to use these faith decks cards and create these. So I really like this. More washi. Your third page has your larger elements, larger words, bigger hands, and larger crosses. This is just such a cute kit. So today I'm going to be using as a, a background three different colors of crowns. And I have violet red, red, and carnation pink. And I'm also going to be using a stencil that I bought many years ago at the Dollar Tree. They came in a pack of like five and they were, I used them actually outside on my fence. I thought it was perfect for this. But they were just words. And um, I think they're to be used on like, I don't know, maybe wood or something like that. But this one says love. And the page that I'm going to be journaling on is, is this page. I just taped this backwards and used washi tape on the back side of the page. Now, I also made myself a stencil out of cardstock using a craft punch with hearts. And so I have all of these, I, I kept all of these little hearts that I punched out and I'm going to make a border around my top and bottom of my page. I took those little hearts with some washi and just added those hearts to the back side of the washi. So I'm going to lay this on the back side of the page and then use my crowns to create hearts, a heart border top and bottom on my page. And don't forget, even if you don't have a craft punch, take a piece of paper 
And remember when you were in um, elementary school and you would fold the piece of paper and then cut just a, you know, a half of a heart out and then you opened it up? You could do that with little, you know, as a little heart as well along and make yourself a stencil like this. I wouldn't recommend using scotch tape for this because it will stick to the back side of your page unless of course you put it on your shirt or your pants and remove some of the sticky but I just like to use my washi tape. I'm also going to be using a black crown and a white one. Now the white one is to to blend my three colors as I get my page done. So I'm just going to start off with coloring my over my stencil here and I'm not going to go as wide I'm not going to go the whole the whole width of it I'm just going to kind of go around the word now if you have alpha stickers you could do this as well using a piece of washi tape or a piece of paper Put your alpha stickers down and create yourself a stencil that you could use like this with your crowns to make an impression on your page. Okay, so I'm going to use the violet red. And I'm going to show you how you can use your white to kind of soften and blend. But I'm going to start off with moving my... Bible over. And I'm going to start over here and just start to make the impression. You can start off soft or you can apply pressure. It's up to you. Now I am doing this in my She Reads Truth Bible. This is my um, older momentum Bible. But I didn't, I had room here so I decided to use it. Now you can go back with some more pressure and make this darker if you'd like. And you can go different directions. This is your creation. And now I have the word love. Now I can come back. I'm going to take this off of the back side. set that aside and I want to kind of make this like an an ombre background so I am going to go ahead and put my little homemade stencil here with my hearts I'm gonna put it at the top across the top of my page I'm 
one that's a little too long, so I'm just going to cut that off, just that one little heart. And there we go. And I'm going to hold on to that because I can use that a little bit later. So now I've got it where I can, I'm going to start with my lighter the carnation pink I'm going to do the same thing that I did here with my crown but I'm going to start in the gutter if I can You could continue this on down the page if you want because it's on washi. You can just move it on down. I'm going to take this off. Crowns are so affordable, affordable and um, I often get several boxes when they when the school supplies go on clearance um, so I have my top order done and I use this carnation now I'm going to come down and I'm going to put this again on the back side here and I'm going to come back with my red so then I can just color in with my crayons here and create that ombre effect Now you could, if you did this, you could use the stencil that you created out of cardstock with a, with your craft punch, and it does give it a different effect on your page when you put this underneath. Um, and it's interesting because the texture, this texture is kind of raised. If you use this and color it underneath like if I were to do that if I were to put this underneath and and color the texture would be it would push my paper kind of down my page a little bit down so you get a different texture as well so that is another option that you could do I'll show you the so this is the washi tape. This is where I was practicing. So this is the washi tape. And then this is the, the stencil here. So it just gives you a different, a different effect. Whether it's the washi tape or the, the stencil itself. So don't be afraid to try new things. Um, and, and again, crayons are very affordable and you can find them oftentimes on sale um, i think that even michael's puts theirs on sale several times throughout the year so i've used this little washi tape several times and it's not real sticky anymore and that's okay but it's sticky enough that i don't i want to be careful with it because I don't want to pull up, tear up my page. Okay, so super simple. I took a craft punch. I used what I had punched out and put it on washi tape and made myself a little impression stencil type thing. Okay, so now I am going to take my colors and just start to kind of blend them together, um, creating a background. So I'm just gonna, since I've got the red handy, I am going to, and here is my verse here in my Bible. So what I'm going to do, you can also use crowns to highlight. 
And in fact, I think I'm just going to use washi tape to cover my verse. Okay, so I have my verse washi taped off. I'll show you what I'm going to do there when we get to that point. All right, let me move my stuff out of the way here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the red, and I'm just going to color about about halfway up, probably to the top of, of where my washi tape is here with the red. stop right there with the red and I'm going to come in with my red violet or violet red and if you have something on the back side of your page or maybe on the you know, on, on the next page that you think might um, come through. You can always use um, a cutting mat or whatever you might have that is smooth <clears throat> that would give you a smooth palette. I'm not worried about it because I don't have anything that would come through, but you know, if you've done something else on the next page, and you're doing this, you wouldn't want it to come because it would make the impression, you know, like these have done. I'm only going to come up to about right here. But I am going to darken and press a little harder down here. and come over and do another coat or another layer. Okay, so now I'm going to use my carnation pink and fill in the rest of this. So I'm gonna start darker down here and then lighter. Now I'm going to take my white and I'm just going to blend where my colors meet. So I'm going to take my white crown and I'm just going to blend and kind of smooth where my colors meet. And if you wanted to mute all of your colors, you could just go ahead and continue on with that white. I just am going, I'm just using it to, to blend. I do think I'm gonna add a little bit more red down here. Okay, so here is, just by using crowns, my background. And using uh, homemade stencils out of washi tape and cardstock, but also just a stencil that I picked up at Dollar Tree years ago that says love. But I did just use it with the crowns. And now my, 
verse is highlighted differently than what I've colored and I didn't have to do a thing but you can use crayons to highlight your verses because it doesn't bleed through I didn't even get there's no ghosting on this side on this page and these are this is a she reads truth Bible and it is the pages are thinner so no ghosting with crayons okay so now we get to use the elements in the kit <laughs> so let's start off with our tab My sticker paper is super sticky. I don't know why. And I don't have a problem with my, because you know, crayons leave kind of a waxy residue just a little bit, but I don't have a problem with my stickers not sticking to the crayons. Now, a word of caution, oftentimes your markers and things, of course, will not, they won't write over the, the wax of the crayons. So if there's something that you want to journal or a prayer that you want to write or notes or something like that, do that before and be sure that that ink is dry before you go over it with your crayons. So I have to use this little two-tier, so cute. I'm going to use the bigger words up here in my lighter pink because it is also a light pink and I'm going to use the ends or the end the bottom of my hearts up here as kind of my starting point with my words because you know if you've seen any of my tutorials cutting straight laying things down straight it's not one of my strengths so <laughs> get that white off of there even cutting along straight lines it's just not a strength and I have embraced the crooked I do the best I can but my hands and everything get in the way so <laughs> I'm going to take my black crayon and use it like I would a pen or a Posca pen or something like that and just outline my words here. Now I did sharpen this so that it's um, got a little bit of a point on it. And it just made that stand out a little more. I want to use the love. I need to make sure that I'm not covering but getting it close, there we go. Now I'm going to take my black crown again and I'm just going to make some hearts around my verse so then it is a little more 
prominent, kind of draws your eye to it. So I added a little bit there with my black crown and now I'm going to use these larger crosses, all of the crosses. I'm going to try to use them in as kind of contrasting colors. And again, you can use your black crown to go around your elements just to make them pop off the page. Okay, I'm going to wait on that one, but I'm going to use the smaller ones. So you can use a smaller one down here so as not to cover my verse. going to use the little hearts because I created my own hearts um, at the top and at the bottom that goes along with it so I'm not going to use those I think I will use this little rose here just to add to my tab This little kit just has so much to choose from. It's just so cute. There we go. Okay, so we used crayons to create a beautiful background learned how to use the crowns with a stencil to create our word and also to create a border you could even do this you could use this just take them individually and the pieces or what you have cut out on the back side and color in little hearts if you wanted to. So if you have enjoyed learning how to use just crayons to in creating your journaling entry, please give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already and be sure to turn on the notifications. Click that bell for your notifications to be turned on because we don't want you to miss a thing that goes on with Bible Journaling Ministries. There's so much more to come. I have really enjoyed being with you and I will see you next time. May the Lord bless you and keep you always. Goodbye.